guys it's me vibrant mel make sure you like comment and subscribe um this is for my plastic surgery girls and whoever is thinking about getting plastic surgery thinking if it's the right thing to do you'll see at the end of the video if i think it's the right thing to do but um yeah so i did a video a while back about like self-massaging i did q a the things like that when i was going through my recovery and i was like i'm back let me do like a updated just something for you guys so i'm gonna do a few of these and i hope y'all like it i hope y'all find it inform informal and yep let's get to it okay so i didn't do anything where i like have a whole list of q a's i'm just going by off of how many questions i get all the time the comments i think my um the self massaging video it has like so many comments it has like 250 likes like y'all yeah, love 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 that video so i'm just going off based off what's there you might see a glow Ugh, you see it it's irritating me i hope the glow don't really bother y'all i did break my camera on thanksgiving and I gotta, I gotta go fix my phone, but I should do it the other way. We're trying this all over again. Um, like I was saying, I had a video, 13,000 views on it, um, about self-massaging. Then I did Q&As and things like that. So today, I'm just coming off the top of my head. And based off your comments, what I think you guys should know about surgery, the good, the bad, the ugly, and... Maybe this will help you make a decision. Maybe it, it will be for you. Maybe it wouldn't be for you. But, okay. Number one, the most important thing you need to do is you need to do your research. I, let's start here. Okay. I started doing um, lymphatic draining massages, body contouring um, massages and things like that because I did like my recovery process. And I thought about it for a little while, if I should do it, if I shouldn't do it. And I decided I do want to do it. So now, instead of my questions and answers being pertaining to just how I recovered and the questions I had and the way I feel, I have been doing the massages for a little while now. So I've been seeing a lot of girls come in from DR, Columbia, New York. I have someone that went to Jamaica, like from all over. So I'm getting questions. I'm seeing different things that I didn't see before. I was only really seeing what I seen on YouTube or just what I went through. And yeah, so like I have like different insight now. A lot of girls go and like they just see like, oh, I like the pictures. I like his work. I'm gonna go to him it's more than seeing reviews and pictures reviews meaning like all the good ones you need to see the good bad and ugly so I would suggest you to go on real self it's a website and look at their comments look at their pictures it's gonna be all good bad and ugly look at their ratings like you have to do your research what I also did was I followed surgery pages, surgery pages on Instagram. They have surgery pages on Facebook where you can actually get into a group. It's also really, really good because say if you're traveling to DR, you might not only be the one going to DR to get this surgery at that same doctor and you guys could stay in recovery houses together. That's how people find surgery friends. And then there's other people that find a surgery friends while they're already out there. But if you do your research, plan ahead of time you find these people that's going to do the surgery with you so you can feel comfortable like it's all about feeling comfortable because when you're there and you're going through things and things are not going how you thought it was going to go in your head you can start to freak out but if you have someone there with you you're good also suggest is what i suggest is you finding whoever's going to do your massages where you live before you go get surgery because that's going to make a difference too because it doesn't make sense to go somewhere to get surgery you have to do the massages there right you have to do it there you have to be there for a certain amount of days but but what about when you get back like i feel like you need a minimum of 20 massages some people don't think they need it cool but now when things go wrong based off of you speaking to someone else and them telling you i only did massages when i was in dr or i only did massages when i was in columbia i did nothing when i came back Everybody recovers differently. Everybody's body is different. And if your body shows that you need to go 
and get more massages but you're still stuck on that this person told me you only do 10 or however many you did there you cannot blame anyone else besides you and and that, and that's just it like you just to be like serious like be for real my point is before you go find a massage therapist that you're gonna go to if you're going in, if you're in new york the bronx queens anywhere in that vicinity you can definitely contact me i'll be okay with doing your massages but what i was gonna say was you need to speak to that massage therapist make sure they have the expertise in what's going on the lymphatic um, massage process and everything like that so you can be a good hand because a lot of places like dr columbia things like that even here in the city they tell you to buy so many things that you really don't need um they're gonna try to upsell you at these locations where you do the surgery on things you really don't need and then when people come back and then they don't have enough money to continue to do the massages so what i suggest is don't go to someone that's money hungry just to get your money for the massages come to somebody that's going to actually help you and guide you through the process because it's just it's just not fair because i'll tell you like no you need this no you don't need this don't let them make you buy this there because you're going to have to buy a new one when you come here anyway like you 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 don't need all of that like there's a lot of little things and it just depends on who your doctor is because certain doctors tell you you need certain things some of them don't tell them some of them tell you that they have the best fajas and da, 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 and they contour one to your body and things like that but honestly and truly your body is going to keep changing within the next couple months so you're going to have to need a new faja anyway and fajas are not cheap yes you can take some of them in which is really really good but you might need a stage one stage one you're not taking it that's only for a few days you never need a stage two you possibly need a stage three but if you get a good 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 stage two you could probably just take it in and you'll be fine but they might want to upsell you're going to tell you oh you need this 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 no you don't boards is very important yeah you're going to need that but sometimes the boards they sell you there you can get them way cheaper so yeah if you need boards if you need boards if you need fajas let me know you can write it down in the comments Add me on Instagram. My Instagram is Dynasty Love, so it's D Y N A S T Y L O V E. Or you can um, add me on Instagram at Bodied by Mel. Both Instagrams will be down in the bio, um, and it should be. It's gonna be in this video too, actually, as well. I'll put it. I'll, I'll insert it somewhere.